Good morning, Totem Collective. Today we are going to do a very interesting reading, and it answers the question, what are your Akashic records advising you to do or to shift or to integrate in your entry to the fifth dimension? Where are you at? What is happening in your energetic life? Let's draw a roadmap of your path towards that new world of the fifth dimension. So we have mind, body, spirit, energy, bodies, emotions, and these are the past lives, the chakra cards and the, and the strategies of the totems. What is the roadmap? Your mind is, at this moment, your prison. You come from lifetimes where safety comes in analytical thinking, in assessing, asserting, projecting, establishing mentally a path. Because you had ambition. And you still have. And it's in your solar plexus. And in the old lives, in the old times, your Akashic records are saying, that could be done then, because the energies were dense and slow. A strategy is grasshopper, which means to give a massive leap towards the sun. Sun, yellow, solar plexus, talking about your power. Your Akashic records are telling you, we want what you want, and you want what we want. But the way you are doing it is not taking your... The, is not, but the way you are doing it is not taking you there. The grasshopper has got very big back legs. And when he jumps, he jumps up to 30 meters his body size. That is a huge jump for such a small animal. Because he flies and he jumps at the same time. So now you are trying to walk it without allowing the air drafts to actually take you. So you are forcing your way through. And so your mind is saying... You need a lot of years, you need hundreds of years to get through these energies that way. And in any way, they don't, they don't translate. It's not a language that the universe speaks anymore. This is an old language. We can't understand the new world with that old language. Let's see at physical level. Finances. There is a fear of finances. Maybe because you were poor, maybe because you were rich. But the point is that... There is a memory, there is a clairvoyance, it's in your throat. There is a perception, there is something that is uh, saying, you, you may even have visions. I would not be surprised if you actually have visions of past lives, limitations, because the soul is trying to talk to us in dreams, because it's trying to interfere and intercept the bombardment of the physical world and the analytical mind which is the ego and is not giving up its control. And you have crocodile, which is new beginnings. There is an unexpected nurturing capability that the crocodile has in a funny sort of way. It's a good mother. It's telling you there is an alternative vision, a new beginning to the way you are trying to achieve your financial liberation, your financial freedom. There is a new birth, there is a new reality, there is a new mothering concept, and in that concept, um, you don't have to focus on your finances and look after them like they were the all be all and end all. The finances don't come from the money itself. The finances come from a new vision, a clairvoyance, from a manifestation from, let's say, nothingness, an alignment towards your destiny. Because your Akashic records are saying, we are just taking notes and everything is there. You just need to come here to this library to read clairvoyantly. Spiritually, there is a Celtic life in which those records are so strong, uh, you could have been a priest and have nothing and give up everything and decided that now you want to enjoy the benefits of the money. The freedom of a spiritual life comes in giving everything up. By giving everything up, you will receive it. But to give everything up, 
you need to open those hands and when you open your hands then you can receive so you can see a limitation a locked onto the finances you need to have a vision that is ambitious in its nature but is beyond what you have done so far to give a leap into your future finances and is locked onto your root chakra there is a lack of security in the physical world in which you are living you see the world as a contradiction into where your soul is calling you and where the finances are coming through there is a vulture and the vulture is the healer the vulture digests the rotten flesh the things the putrid the bad stuff the the negativity the contradictions the uh, the obscurity the shadow we also have a level of light inside ourselves that can digest any negativity because it is all perceived and so uh, spiritually this conjugate this partner can be seen either you meet your own yourself your own yin and yang and learn to love yourself like before you can actually love somebody else or that someone else is going to come into your life to help you settle or or to walk your path forward together either way spiritually this is your male side and he's saying there is a power in your solar plexus is lodged in your solar plexus is your male side and is saying that ambition and male is good because we sometimes have to take action but it is not the only way to do things and there is a clairvoyancy there has to be a different aspect the yin and yang you can't walk alone it has to have a partner and the scarlet macaw is communication is colorful emotions is the whole range of emotions which is telling me are there some emotions that you are not there daring to look up are there some emotions that you are blocking are there some emotions that you deem to be less worthy than your akashic records are saying until you integrate all your emotions you can't actually balance all your energies and this reading tells me that there is a bit of a lopsided view of the world lopsided leaning towards the fear side which is limiting your possibilities that are there if you allow your clairvoyance to open up communication through chakra and it's a block into your solar plexus and root chakra all to do with the abundance of the universe the question you need to ask yourself is do i believe in a scarce universe or do i believe in an abundant universe And if you found this reading interesting, please make your notes in the comment box, subscribe to the channel, give me a like, and share the reading. See you next time. Bye.